welcome to a Krushkov's algorithm implementation in Java. All right, so I'm gonna do the same implementation I did in C++ in the video, where you're gonna find the link in the description if you want it in C++, all right? It's the same, uh, it's almost exactly the same code and just some changes to make the program run. So first of all, you're gonna need to make your project, all right? And have these two classes. Pair3.java has a, uh, this code right here, you have uh, three public integers, w, a, and b, this is constructor, and this is the two-string uh, method we are gonna use for this, um, for this pair three object. So what the pair three object describes is the, the edge, right? So we have an edge from a to b with weight w, right? That's what uh, it represents. Okay, so let's go to crush. You are gonna import java.util, right? You need this for two reasons, which I'm gonna show you in the next lines. Then you're gonna have uh, integer fathers, new integer of 100 places. If, if you have more nodes, you can write down a bigger number. Let's say you can say a thousand, right? Doesn't matter. It depends on how many nodes you do have. So if you have three, three is smaller than a thousand, but that does it, all right? So just be max or equal to the number of nodes you do have. All right, so then you're gonna have the these two uh, methods, where in Java you, we have methods, these two methods, which are used for the disjoint set data structure. As I said, the explanation of the, uh, the, explanation of the disjoint set data structure is not the point of this video, but it actually, it's very easy. You can see, you can, uh, you can have a look on the method to yourself, on the two methods, right? So after we have uh, declared these uh, three things, we're gonna start with the main uh, method. Of course, you need to write down the string args, of course, the same uh, thing you write every time for the main method. You're gonna have your scanner, and the, the scanner needs uh, the java.util, as I said before, that's the first thing, you know, it's, uh, it needs uh, the java.util, all right? So we are, we are gonna read from the console, system.in. Then you're gonna declare your crush uh, object, samp, all right? And we are declaring it because we need the fathers and the two methods, right? To be able to use these things, we have to have an object with a crush, all right? Then we're gonna have the, the initial initialization of fathers, uh, array. Each node is gonna be the father of itself. It's very easy to understand, all right? Then you're going to declare these variables here to help you load uh, the input in. Then you're going to declare the array list, pair, which is made of pair three, all right? It's going to be the edges, and you're doing the constructor, the default constructor, all right? Then you're going to have to write down the input, of course. We're going to write the input n, that m. We use std in the next int to read the next integer. Then we do the same for the for the edges. We have a, b, w, and after we have read these three numbers, we're going to edges dot add new pair w a b. Right. So this uh, line here, what it actually does is add is adding the this new newly created pair with w a b into the end of the edges. Right. Into the end of our array list. The constructor for pair three is here. You see, it's a WAB, so we are saying WAB, of course, and it just saves it in the object, right? Okay, so we have loaded the input. Now we're gonna print the line to separate the input from the output, just for the, just for us to see, to notice, all right? Then we're gonna write down uh, these three variables, MST weight for the weight of our MST, MST edges for the number of edges we have in the MST, and then, this uh, integer here to to store the index we actually we're actually gonna see look look at, at our while uh, loop right here all right okay so this is the index we are in the edges actually table okay so then we're gonna sort this uh, array list all right so to how to sort it which is the most difficult part of the of the program here, of the code, is you're gonna write down collections, and collections need uh, java.util, as I said before. 
So you're gonna write down collections, those short edges, which is your array list. <clears throat> and then you're gonna write down new comparator, pair three. You're gonna do the brackets. And since this thing creates a new, a new class actually, this new thing creates a new class, right? What you're gonna do is actually a class which inherits from the interface comparator, right? So comparator is an interface. Sorry, it uh, implements, yes. This is an interface comparator. So it's implemented it to the, it to the class we're actually clearly creating here, right? Which is needed in the dot sort. You can see, you can see the documentation for short, right? There it is, right? So list T list comparator. Okay, super T C, right? So what you need to do is to write down new comparator pair three, the brackets as I said, then these two here. Okay, you can see that this is linked with this one, right? Then you're gonna say down, you're gonna write down overwrite at overwrite because you need to overwrite the existing, the already existing method, right? You can write it like this. Public int compare, which is the compare that the comparator already has developed in. And you're gonna change it so to be pair three, p1, pair three, p2. And you're gonna return p1.w, which is the weight, minus p2w. So if p1 is bigger, you are gonna have a positive integer. If they are equal, it's gonna be zero. And if p2 is bigger, so that is smaller, it's gonna be negative. And that's what the sort method here will use to, to sort actually edges, all right? Then you're closing the sort brackets you have opened. You can see right here, this bracket with this bracket and the question mark since this is a command, right? This whole thing is a command. Okay, so that uh, is how you sort the array list. Then you're gonna have a while loop. Okay, so if we have MST edges smaller than n minus one or MST NY is smaller than M. Okay, so we're st we still have uh, edges to process and the edges we have are not n minus one, which is the goal for the MST since the tree has a tree with n nodes has n minus one edges, right? So that's the condition you write down, and then you move on. Okay, so MST NI, as I said, is the index we are currently in, in the edges uh, array list. So you're gonna get it A, B, W, with these three commands right here to get uh, each uh, variable. And then you're gonna say with, it's if, now we need to see if they are not already connected so you're gonna say if samp, which is the crush we have uh, declared right here, in order to be able to use these methods and the attribute fathers, you're gonna come here and you're gonna say samp dot find a is not equal to samp dot find b. So that if they do not have the same father, okay, they are not uh, in the same uh, tree. They are not connected actually, so we can't connect them. So you get inside if you unite them again, sum dot unite a b, very, very easy to understand. And then we're gonna add the weight into the MST since we have added the edge, right? Okay, so the edge is added, so we're gonna add the weight. It's pretty, pretty simple. And then you're gonna print the edge you have, uh, you have included in your minimum spanning tree. So a space b space w, okay, to represent the the edge, all right? And then MST edges plus plus, which is gonna increment the number of, of edges we already have in our meal spawning tree. So the if uh, ends, right? And then we're gonna change the index to go to the next edge in our array list, all right? So that's pretty much the while here. When the while ends, we have uh, <coughs> we have our meal spawning tree. And now we're gonna present the weight, of course. System out, system without pre len weight of the MST is and the MST weight which holds the weight of the minimum spanning tree. Okay, so that's pretty much the code. This is the example we used before. We're gonna use the same again. So let me copy this. Copy. Maybe the console a bit bigger just for you to see. We're gonna press uh, save and launch. Okay, so we're gonna paste the input right here.
Okay, so we have the example, as I said, and we're gonna press enter, and that's the minimum spanning tree. This is the edges we're gonna use. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna use six to five uh, with uh, weight one, and that's the weight in the right side. And the minimum spanning tree, the weight of the minimum spanning tree is 16. That's the result you're gonna have to find. That's the result we found with C++2. <clears throat> so I guess the code runs smoothly as it did in C++, right? So I hope you fully understand the, the algorithm. I'm gonna paste the link with the code in paste bin for you to be able to take. I hope you liked the video and you realized how Krushko works in Java. Okay, so see you in the next video I'm gonna be making. Goodbye.